Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial we'll be talking about protein export. Now normally once we talk about protein export it means the production of protein inside the cell and then delivering that protein to the destination. Now all the proteins that we're looking inside the cell must have a destination. That's why they are produced, right? Now uh, there are in, if you take an example of gram-negative bacteria, because we'll be talking about bacteria, so if you take example of gram-negative bacteria, now for gram-negative bacteria, destination for a protein can be many. For example, uh, so if I draw this uh, chain or line, it will be very easier. So let's say this is the inner membrane, this is the outer membrane of this gram-negative bacteria, and let's say other proteins are embedded here inside. So proteins like this which are embedded inside like this way or some other proteins are also embedded like this, other proteins are also embedded like this. So many proteins are embedded in this way. So the actual thing is for a gram-negative bacteria the destination of a protein can be in inner membrane. This is one destination, this is poss possible position of the proteins in the periplasmic space that is also possible right periplasmic space now the position of protein in the outer membrane that is also possible right so these are the major three regions in the membrane where the protein destination is possible. And the final destination that the pro protein can share that is outside the cell into the surrounding and that is completely called the secretion of protein. So when you talk about complete secretion of protein, that means the protein will be produced inside via the translation process, then that protein particle will be completely delivered outside the cell into the surrounding, which is secretion. But when you talk about export, it deals with all the four situations we are talking about. Whether the embedding of protein in the inner membrane or embedding in outer membrane or in the periplasmic space or outside the cell. All of these four different scenarios will be counted when we are talking about the protein export processes. Okay, so in this video I am going to talk a little bit about the export of proteins into the membrane whether the inner membrane or outer membrane because remember if your protein is globular type if your protein is having more hydrophilic residues it is getting less trouble for the protein to cross the membrane uh, it is it is getting more trouble for the protein to cross the membrane because the membrane is hydrophobic in nature right so if your protein is hydrophilic it is difficult job for your protein to pass through the membrane so we have seen in that case they take the technique called the vesicle tethering or vesicle fusion because the protein is produced and in, inside a vesicle that vesicle will fuse with the cell membrane and this way all the contents with the proteins from the cytoplasm will be delivered outside the cell but for this type of proteins which are mean to be hydrophobic because they need to put themselves into the cell membrane how do they do that right now for this thing to happen the process of this type of protein is that normally what is happening once the mRNA is produced and that mRNA is being translated into proteins so here comes the ribosome which sits on mRNA there and it start transcribe uh, start translation and sooner it will produce your protein chain so as it is producing the protein chain, between there some region of the pro protein chain, there is a signal region which is simply hydrophobic, hydrophobic signal is there. Now this hydrophobic signal, soon after production of a little long, small length of polypeptide at the very first beginning. So still the protein synthesis is not complete, but the very first round is hydrophobic, kind of 20 to 25 amino acid stretch of, or 12 to 25 stretch of amino acid sequence of hydrophobic. Now this hydrophobic signal is very important. Now once you get this hydrophobic signal, right, so this signal will trigger another protein which is called signal receptor protein that will come and bind with this signal. So this is the signal receptor protein or SRP, right? So the signal receptor protein now find this signal and it will attach with it. Now the signal receptor protein then guide this newly produced polypeptide 
to be embedded into the membrane because that's the actual task for us in this particular case right because we need to embed the protein onto the inner membrane of the cell now once SRP is bound with it it will guide this polypeptide and it will bring this polypeptide to another protein so let me draw it clearly here so let's say this is the inner membrane and here comes the mRNA ribosome is sitting there it is making that protein once it is made remember the stretch is there SRP bound with it now this SRP will bring this protein to another protein which is already present in the cell membrane right for example here also we have found that that protein here is termed as FTSY this is termed as FTSY now this FTSY protein is a very important protein because this protein will recognize whether the protein that is just being made or is, is continuously being made is going to be inserted into the membrane or not now if it finds that yes it is a type of protein to be embedded inside then what it will do SRP uh, just falls out after uh, giving this peptide to FTSY so FTSY hold this peptide till now right so the situation is now this FTS is holding the peptide and a ribosome is migrating in this direction so proteins are continuously being made the amino acids are continuously being added so once uh, this SRP delivers this uh, growing polypeptide chain to the FTSY it falls up now FTSY will now trigger another protein and that protein is termed as many different varieties of proteins are there among one one of those protein is termed as a, this is the translocal channel actually now those translocal channel channel protein here is termed as normally sec y e z so it can be sec y sec e sec z different sec sec proteins are there now sec means secretion that's why sec proteins are there so the sec y e z these, these different proteins they act as a translocon 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 means their job is to transfer membrane proteins or is to embed membrane proteins into the cell membrane. So here, once SRP falls off, giving this to FTS, FTS now delivers this protein to translocon. Once a pretty long stretch of hydrophobic region is produced, right? Now what translocon do uh, does actually translocon? Let's say this is the hydrophobic region of the protein, then hydrophilic, then again hydrophobic. It's being continuously made because you remember hydrophobic proteins cannot be. Uh, presently uh, situated into the cytoplasm because rest of the part is cytoplasm and hydrophobic proteins cannot stay in the cytoplasm so previously once the hydrophobic stretch is made SRP bound with it then FTSY and now translocon will fill this position now what translocon will do once it is holding this protein then it will transfer the protein into the inner cell membrane like that so it is just grabbing the protein embed it into the membrane then again it grabs the next hydrophobic stretch embedded into the membrane so what actually happens here is just like the machinery of sewing machine so if this is the cell membrane and what uh, this uh, sec proteins do actually they let's say this this is the hydrophobic and this is the hydrophilic again hydrophobic hydrophilic hydrophobic hydrophilic hydrophobic hydrophilic so this is that's how they start to embed the different stretch of polypeptide as it's being made embedding it into the cell membrane thus in this way both the side of the membrane they contains hydrophilic portions of the protein but inside the membrane they contains the hydrophobic regions of the protein just the principle of the sewing machine it just start to sew those uh, stitch those uh, polypeptide chains into the cell membrane now that's the whole process of protein export in the cell membrane and i hope that's helpful thank you